All right, hello, my name is Sam Welker, and in this series, we're going to be doing a lot of particle work with Turbulence FD. So I'll quickly give an introduction to myself, and then we'll carry on. I am Sam. I run a blog called thinkparticle.com, and I make a lot of products. I make uh, generators for clouds. I make generators for thinking particles to make them easier for those that don't understand Espresso. And I also work on a product um, called Text Edge Effects, used by uh, hundreds of artists and uh, also used by companies like CBS. Um, I am based in uh, Southern California, and I am a freelance uh, visual effects artist, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun in this series. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking over how to set up a simulation with Turbulence FD that will then drive thinking particles and we're going to use a workflow with thinking particles so that we can start to get a basic idea of what it's going to look like in the end. We're going to start with a small amount of particles. And in the end, we're going to get up to about 100,000 particles. And this workflow will get you up to at least 10 million particles. Um, I've done it before. And it's uh, quite a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and look over what we're going to be looking at. We're going to start with the uh, chapter 2 scene file. And it's going to... Uh, get us to a point where we have a simulation much like this one. As you can see, we're going to have uh, Turbulence FD simulate in what looks kind of like a waterfall. And we have these nice ripples going down. And then we will use that to drive thinking particles. And these thinking particles will come down in a waterfall sort of look. And we'll be able to, in chapter 3, do this and set up just a brief render so we can look at it. And then, in chapter 4, we will be able to look at some other ways to render the thinking particles in more depth with hair. And it renders quite quickly for the amount of particles we have in the scene, as well as the amount of lights. All right, and then once we have that done, we're going to go into chapter five and learn how to render with something called P-Shade. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at what that's going to look like as well. All right, and P-Shade will give you uh, rendering based upon different uh, attributes of the particles. So anyways, we will be getting to all of that here in this series. Um, I hope you guys can uh, enjoy it, and uh, I'll see you in the next chapter. All right, in this first chapter, we're going to talk about where we can find all of our third-party plugins we're going to be using in this training series. The first one we can find is Turbulence FD, which is found at jawset.com. When you get here, you're going to notice that they have a few renders below, uh, both of smoke and fire simulations. And then you go down and you can notice that they use some thinking particle simulations as well. This is what we're going to be covering. Next, you can find P-Shade which we're going to be using a little later on in the series. It's an alternative rendering plugin for thinking particles. It's incredibly useful, and we're going to dive into that. You can find it both for free on pluginsforcinema4d.com, and if you donate, you get the most recent version, which is what we're going to be using. Next is TP Partio, found on aescripts.com. It has a name your own price price, and go ahead and uh, go to AE Scripts and download that. TP Partio is going to be using the Walt Disney Animation Studios Partio platform. So now that you know where to find all of these, go ahead and go find them. All of them have free versions or demos. So go ahead and get those now and uh, we'll carry on.